Hi there aviators, Rachel here at Practice IKO English and today we're going to work on improving your grammar skills so you can answer IKO test questions. We're going to look at talking about future events that are likely to happen and for that we need the first conditional. We use the first conditional to talk about future events that are likely to happen. It can be used with different present tenses and we use it to talk about cause and effect. And today we're going to focus on using the present simple tense. The first conditional has the present simple after if and then the future simple in the other clause. And obviously I'm going to show you some examples of that. So we have if plus the subject plus the present simple and the second clause is will plus infinitive and you can reverse the order too and the meaning will remain the same. So what I mean by that is you can put the will clause first, will plus infinitive and then the if clause second. Let's see some examples. If there is an emergency, Japan Airlines crew will know how to evacuate the aircraft. So we have if and present simple and then the second clause we have will know the future simple and we can do it the other way around japan airlines crew will know how to evacuate the aircraft if there is an emergency so in this example we have the will clause first will with infinitive and then in the second clause we have if there is an emergency you notice that when it's the it's the will first, there's no comma. But of course, you're only going to be tested on your speaking skills, so don't even worry about that. Let's look at the next photo. If a plane lands hard, it will need to undergo an inspection. The plane will need to undergo an inspection if it lands hard. You can also use might, may, could or should in place of will. So all these are modal verbs and we're going to see an example of using might in the first conditional. The plane might explode if the engine fire isn't put out quickly. If the engine fire isn't put out quickly, the plane might explode. So here again you see two examples, one with the might clause first and one with the if clause first. Just a short lesson from me for today. If you find this training helpful and you'd like to join our Arkeo English Zoom training sessions, please complete the form in the description below. And to find out if you have ICAO Level 4 vocabulary, comprehension and grammar skills, you can take my ICAO Test Questions quiz, which is 153 questions full of value and the link is in the description below. And to join a community of aviators, practice your ICAO English skills and get feedback from me, join my Practice ICAO English group. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and if you haven't already, please like the video and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.